Hello, fish farmers. I know you've been waiting for me for a very long time. I'm so sorry, I've been busy with other things and it's been a while that I drop videos on fish. So, and I know I've been absent for the past few days. I'm so sorry about that. I was busy with other works. So now I decided to come and tell you something about feed. My partner have talked about local feed down there and there are other videos you can see about feeding your catfish that are on our channel too. But right now I want to talk about the floating feed that you are going to use to feed your fish right from their juvenile size or their fingerless or post fingerless size. And I know by the time you watch the video to the very end, you are going to like it. But before we go into it, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new video like this for you. I know you are going to get the best in Adota Farm and we are going to give you all the best that we have. Before we talk about that of it, let me tell you something about it. There is a little secret I want to tell you. So there are some, some of these feed that have 45% crude protein. Those ones are good for your fish. Any feed that you get in the market that has crude protein of less than 43%, don't buy it. It's not good for your fish. It's not good to boost it. Even if you buy it and you feed your fish, they won't grow very well. But if you buy the one of 45% crude protein, your fish will do very well. First secret, don't buy the feed, any floating feed that, that has less than 43% crude protein. That is part one. Part two, the size of the feed you are going to buy should be equivalent to the size of the fish you have inside your pond. You know, I told you we are going to learn new things and we are going to learn different things on this channel. So as long as God give us life. So I told you the size of the feed you are going to get in the store should be the same with the size of the fish you have inside your pond. Assuming you have fingerlings, fingerlings will take one mem. So juvenile will take two mm. So you should think about that. The another thing you should know is this feed of a thing have different sizes. Different sizes. You can get size 0.2 m. You can get size 0.5 mm. You can get size 0.8 mm. Then you can get the one of one mm. But right from 0.2 to 0.8 or one mm. They use it in the hatchery. It is those who produce it because if you don't know how to undo fish at their smaller level, you are going to get all of them killed. So those are the people that use that sizes. But when once you get the one of a uh, post fingerlings or fingerlings, then you can start with one mm. So if your fish are now growing, you can change to one point eight mm. Those are the sizes. So if the fish still grow to an extent, maybe when it turns to uh, juvenile, you can feed them with 2 mm. The more their growth, the more the size of the feed you will be giving them. If take note of this, if you are giving juvenile 1 mm instead of 2 mm, you should know if they are going to swallow one, just one, what should I call it, particle or seed of 2 mm, and that, that will take, and you, are, and you are feeding them with 1 mm instead, it might be like three balls or three feet of one mm will be equal to one uh, one of that two mm. So you are going to waste money buying a lot of feed to give them. That is how that is why you have to buy the feed that once they take, assuming they are going to take like ten of that feed, and the juvenile will be satisfied, and you are giving them one mm. They will take up to twenty. Of it so that would be exhausting you which shouldn't be so they have the one of size like at least to 2 mm then they have 2.5 they have the one of 2 3 mm 3.5 then 4 mm then they have the one of 6 mm so it now depends if you want to change to 
Luca, you can change to Luca once you reach the one of 4 mm. They, they should be at jumbo size then. So you can change to Luca feed. So you start from 4 mm Luca, then you graduate to 6 mm Luca. So that is that about the size. And let me tell you this about it too. The higher the size of the feed you are getting, you are buying for your fish, the lesser the amount. So you should not take note of that. So don't let anybody cheat you whenever time you go to the store to get the feed. Now, the top nine feed I want to talk about is, I'll be listing them right from the top. The one I list at the top are the best that I can vouch for you to get. So if you buy all those ones, it are going to work well for you. But if you get buy the ones that are underneath, they are good too, but the reason is they might not boost your fish as fast as the one I first list could do. Now, the number one of it is scratching. Everybody knows scratching, but it's costly. Like I told you, the price I beat high. So, scratching. Scratching is very good, and you can find them in all stores. Except those people never order for it. If they order for it, you will get it in the store and they have it in different sizes. Then the number two is al aqua. Al aqua, do the contents of their feed reduced some time ago, but they have sorted it out and their feed is very good. If you use it to feed your fish, your fish will grow very well. So al aqua is part of it. Then the number three part is the coupons. So really, let me tell you this about coupons. Coupons have original one and they have the fake one. So if you get the original one in the market, that is wow. You get one of the best feed, feed uh, catfish feed. So if, if you get coupons, it is very good too. And they have it in different sizes. The size of the uh, feed, I'm telling you, that is what I mean. So they have it in different sizes too. Even the size of the, the, the way they package it. So, you know, we are talking about floating feed. Some people call it imported and some people call it floating, you know any name you call it some people say package feed so that is what i'm talking about so coupons is good too then the number four part of it is top feed so if you get top feed top feed is very very good too and it's not that scarce in all our stores you can get it in all our stores as well so the number five part of it is blue crown blue crown is one of the though it's not that long that they started this feed but it's one of the best you can use as well so if you get it it will boost your fish number six that is hybrid catfish feed though their feed is not that much like that of poultry feed but hybrid catfish feed we have them in store too you can get it anywhere if they order for it and people deliver to them people uh, supply to them you can get it it's good too so number seven you can get vita feed Vita feed is one of the feeds you can use too, and they are very, very good. They are very, very okay too. You can use it to boost your fish, and you can use it to feed your fish, and it will do well. So number eight is that of Aqualis. If you get Aqualis feed, it is good too. You can get it anywhere. If, if you don't get all this feed I'm talking about, maybe they don't supply it to your location, or they don't use it in your location. Remember I told you, locations matter in whatever things that i'm saying here so if they don't get it in store that means they are not using it in your area or producing it in your area so the last which is not the least is the echo float so echo float too is good and you can use it to boost your fish too so if you get all this uh, if you want if you go to the market to buy all this feed and the price some of the price is expensive and you decided to buy the one of lower price you can use it it will help you but it won't be like that of high price and don't do this mistake maybe you are feeding them with scratching and at the end of the day you decided to use echo float because you can't afford scratching anymore it will retard the growth of your fish or may cause mortality in your ponds and you'll be just you just be going to to the pond and you'll be seeing mortality like five to ten or like three to five in a day so don't change feed and even if at all you want to change change feed to the ones that are closer to the first one you use so in case you are changing feed for instance assuming you are using blue crown and you want to change feed you can change it to that of top feed or echo float it will still help a little bit but changing feed is not good for your fish it will be better for you to 
get the number of the fish you think your capital can raise and buy the amount of feed that will raise them to the certain point that you will change to local feed. So this will help your fish to grow well. So this is all I have to tell you about the top nine catfish feed that you can use to boost your fish whenever time you stock them. So don't forget, keep on subscribing and don't forget to like and share.